Hello, hello, folks, and welcome to Deus Ex. Oh, yeah. Decided after doing Sir Sam HD, the second encounter, may as well get to work on this. The audio levels are going to be a little wonky here. They're not done perfectly. And the mouse is a little wonky as well. I think there's mouse acceleration. I, but all, or, if there isn't, it's just because this... I know. They have fucked with the resolution. This is the resolution I'm currently going at. So, yeah. Actually, I wonder, can it be made bigger? I never even looked. Actually, no, wait. As you click through it, it messes with things. Yeah. Wait. Can I make the, these? Oh, I can, can actually make the textures better. Hmm. We'll worry about that later. Um, wrong one. Sound. Good for you. This. Actually, pocket. Gonna play bold. Um, the intro cutscene, it's audio levels of one, but once you actually get into the game, there's a different audio level. So these are lower than I'd like, but it's either here or you can't hear me. And any lower, you'll turn them off. Effects channel being down here is fine. Can't mess with that by using the keyboard. So anyway, so my, you can only use this to mess with that. Uh, you can't just go here and hit one. Go to the, uh, yeah. So let's get into it. Let's do the training actually. All right. Christ, that's low. Okay, let's boost that audio up a bit. I spill my drink. God damn, there's a bit of a, a jump between the, the two there. Like the audio levels. There's a, a fair gap, it feels like there should be another unit in between them, you know? It's kind of irritating. Because this is going to be a bit loud. You can still hear me, but it's going to be a little too loud. See? That's such a jump! Fuck this houseplant! Really? My god! My god, you're about as strong as I am. <laughs> no. I actually, no, in all honesty, I think I'm probably burlier than he is. Christ, that was dramatic. Christ. Look, dude, just stand there. He's significant. He's possibly significant. Okay. Okay, uh, I... Oh, that. Okay. Y you go to the key ring, uh, left click, then right click to open. Alright. You're going to get a lot of equipment during these exercises. Press F1 at any time to access the inventory screen, which will let you add and remove items from the tool belt. Ooh, Press combat knife. To view your current goals and any notes you may decide to take. On a typical mission, a UNATCO agent's objectives are logged electronically Hmm, can I climb in here, I wonder? Probably not. Invisible wall. Yeah. Hmm. Self-assembling lockpick resources? Well, that's a 
it way of well that's a mouthful mm-hmm good to know huh that's convenient for some Ooh, kind of looks like fabric-y. But anyway, um, there is actually one shitty part to this. Ooh, that's cool. Um, you ca if you like, for say, look at this, you won't actually... Actually, you actually can double-check it. Alright, so you can go here, then to... Uh... Then you can go to here and double check it. All right, and um, though when you go up to the keypads, I don't think it it tells you. So yeah, you have to actually remember it. But at least you can check it elsewhere. That's something. Who are these people? All right. Alright, uh, I don't want to talk over them, I actually want to take this in. While I have seen the tutorial before, I still want to hear it again. It's been quite a while since I've heard it before. A multi-tool is not really a tool at all. Not in the usual sense of the word. So it's a... A jackass. Gotcha. Excuse me. But a disposable electronic, uh, electronic device that utilizes electromagnetic re resonance detection and frequency modulation to dy dynamically alter the flow of current through almost any non-hardened circuitry. Skilled agents can use the multi-tool to manipulate uh, code locks, cameras, audio and turrets, alarms, or other security elements. Note that multi-tools can't be used for computer information extraction. And it's telling you to look at another section to do with hacking. Almost done, but one quick note. I'm not. I'm not exactly expert in this sort of thing. For that, you have to check in with Sam Carter when you're when you get to Liberty Island. But remember, there's there's any number of other ways to open the door, including explosion, expose, explosives, or finding a security computer. There's certainly worse hacking mini games. Just walking up with that device and that. Thanks for the cooperation, Agent. Yeah. <sighs> I wave my fist impudently, but um, there's certainly worse hacking things. Like that wasn't th that bad. Oh, good, they're only conscious. Did he need to be rendered unconscious? Couldn't he just, you know, lie down and pretend to be unconscious? Cause medically inducing unconsciousness willy nilly sounds kind of serious. I know if someone was to You know how they can be Actually no, that was from house. Never mind, that's probably not accurate. Basically I'm just simply saying there could be medical consequences, damn it. Oh. Oh. Unlock it. Open. Then we'll pop them in here. God damn, this looks so much like System Shock 2. Like, like, see how, like, that bo those four things appear? Like forming corners around the body, though they certainly move a lot there. Unlike System Shock 2, it's a very System Shocky 2 thing. So yeah, it's unnerving. Just 
Okay, I'm going to have to change that then because F12 is actually my pause recording key. And, well, I'm sorry, but I don't have to pause my recording every time I want to turn on a light. Um, where the fuck is it? There is F3, F4, but that makes no sense. Uh, like, why would that be an option there? Like, why would I be able to assign them to being a thing? Uh, like, why would I be able to assign a key to a button? Okay, you know what? Let's add P to it. P. Yeah, P will pretend to be F12, which will deal with that. Now I'm going to pause this, pause my recording, and make sure the recording wasn't paused by me hitting P. Hey folks, and I'm back. Yeah, no, uh, the recording was fine, as I expected it to be, but you can never be too certain. Really, dude? I could quite, I could get over that. <clears throat> Probably couldn't jump it, I suppose. But god damn it, I could do better than you could. Though there's anything nice here, it's the tutorial area. But I still feel like I have to search through it all, or, or you know, I'm gonna miss something. Repair bot. Cool. Really, you <clears throat> you need to recharge for a minute, even though you only used a tiny bit there. God damn your shit. You'd presume so. I could be worried if they didn't. Jump across the platforms. You'll have to crouch to get under those pipes. If you fall, use the stairs to begin again. Nothing down here. It's kinda weird how there was the ammo back there. Like why would that ammo be there? You know? Real awkward. X is the uh, crouch button. I'm used to C being the crouch button, but C just pivots. It just uh, turns you around like, like a record baby. Christ. It's a little disorientating there. Can I lift this? No. Come on, over. That was awkward. Alright. Actually, I'm back here. No. I doubt I'll get to keep that, um... Christ, that's chugging out the goddamn hell. Uh, uh, 
hazmat is disposable. You can wear it only once, and it operates only for a fixed duration. Use the ramp on the other side of the room to drive out. The water is why this is chugging out the hell. But it doesn't affect the... Um, it, when you get to the start of the game. It's weird. Also, why is the hazmat disposable? It's kind of weird. Aren't hazmats meant to be reusable? A standard hazardous material suit that protects against a full range of environmental hazards, including radiation, fire, biochemical toxins, electricity, and EMP. Hazmat suits contain an integrated by uh, excuse me, uh, bacterial or oxygen scrubber that uh, deg get degradates over time, thus should not be re re reused. Okay, that explains. Okay, E. It's equipped. Uh, okay, now it's on. How? Get up. Okay, yeah. Come on, up. Ow. Heal me. Ow. My <laughs> Christ. Did I keep the ammo? Probably not. And I am gonna be a little cheatsy. Uh, if you go to untrained with pistols when you start the game, like when you go to start the new game, you can choose how your character is laid out with these skills. You can choose to be untrained in pistols so that when you get into it, you have let me start it again. You can undo that upgrade in uh, pistols, go from trained to untrained, and put the points you get into something else. But when you get into the game, you'll be given. Uh, you'll be put back up to trained in pistols. So basically, you end up trained, and you can uh, end up with another skill. So it's a very good idea. Calm down. Welcome to the combat training area. Oh, Gunter. I am Gunter Herman, and I will be monitoring your progress here. We will start with weapon familiarization. Alright. Your first exercise will be to learn a little about aiming and targeting. Step up to the shooting range to the west. Okay. Ooh, guns. Yeah, actually, the longer you hover over a target, the, I think, more accurate you get. Fuck it, I'm just taking all the pistols. I see that. Ink you zooms in, and then I presume you get more accurate. But I was expecting to have to do that each time I fired. I'm glad I didn't. I already did, mate. Yeah. Oh, I was to do this one. Alright. Keep the gun out. But I can't seem to reload. Strange. I, I guess R doesn't reload. Also, were they made out of glass? 
visible walls prevent me from inspecting it. Alright. I'll wave my fist impotently.